What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DIY Kari coming at y'all with another sneaker review. Really appreciate all of y'all for watching the videos, for liking the videos, for commenting on the videos, good or bad. Keep doing what you're doing, liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel if you're new. If it's your first time, I do do reviews on UAs, reps, whatever you want to call them. And everything in these videos is informational. I'm helping y'all and helping myself at the same time to learn more on UAs and reps. And today we got a special shoe, a shoe that I was happy to get my hands on because I love retro threes. It's not my top shoe, but it's the top three. It's retro three. And this shoe we will be reviewing came from the good people over at goodkicks.ru. So shout out to them for sending these out. Happy to have them, happy to review them. And the shoe we talking about today is gonna be the Georgia Peach Retro 3. Starting at the bottom, you got that Jordan and that Georgia Peach, and you got the four foot that has the Georgia Peach also. Moving around to the back, got the, red, the Jordan, and air in that Georgia peach. As you can see, you got that elephant print around the back that stops halfway to the middle. And you got a Georgia peach midsole that curves around the back. Then it goes right into that cell colorway. You got all your stars at the bottom. Toe box is sleek and it bounces back. You got the Georgia Peach eyelids on both sides. The tongue, the Georgia Peach color also with the Jordan. And the leather is, I wouldn't say it's a genuine leather, but it's pretty damn close. It's more, more so synthetic, but it does feel real good. Show y'all that it does bounce back. One thing I wish was a little bit different would be the laces. These are super long, so I'm definitely gonna have to change them out. But that's not a big deal because I keep laces on deck. Let me show y'all the insole, which is that regular, smegler, degler home insole with the Jordan at the bottom. Not a fan of, which it was, which it was. I wish, I wish it was a dream cell, but it's not. If I want to change it out, I can with a different one from a different shoe. Because that's my favorite insole. But like I said, in most of my videos, I wish every shoe came with that, but they don't. So what I've been doing is changing them out. Again, I wish the lace was a little bit shorter. This is a bit long, but what can you do? So the other one, same thing. It has that elephant, elephant print going around the back with a Jordan logo that's in Georgia Peach. And it's coming around the midsole also towards the back. Jordan Peach on Jordan on the tongue. And keep in mind, these are women's 11 and a half. So translate to that to a size 10 men's, which is my size. Same thing on the bottom. You got a Jordan and Georgia Peach with the four foot having that Georgia Peach also. And there's literally no glue lines at all on this shoe. And I did not have to take this shoe outside. I did not have to hose it down. I did not have to do none of the, of the sorts because it had no smell. I had, I had two that had a smell. I had let them sit outside. Y'all saw that video. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. But these are going to be the Georgia Peach 3s. Again, I'm happy to have these in my collection. Keep in mind, these are UAs, reps, 
whatever you want to call them but as you see they are close close with no flaws they're damn near identical to the originals and if you see a flaw point it out the one thing i can say i wish the toe box was a little bit sleeker on this one that's my only gripe but other than that on feet you're not gonna be able to tell so let's go ahead and get to the box it has that elephant print on one side with the cell colorway and the jordan logo on this side with air below it again women's 11 and a half men's 10 i'm not sure why it says 10 why not because it's i'm definitely not youth but what can i say they fit they definitely fit true to size that's the paper and they did come devil box which is why you see the box is pretty much immaculate nothing's wrong with the box and you got your branding on the bottom again shout out to good kicks that are you for sending these out definitely did a hell of a job on these only thing that i can point out is the toe box being a little bit sleeker other than that no other flaws no glue no glue lines no smell no stitching out of place everything's on point just give it one more once around so y'all can see and the last thing that i will point out is gonna be the bubble if you see more than two posts send it back take it back because it, it's not right it should only have two posts at a size 10 if it has more than two posts it better be a size 12 and up because that is only right anything below a 12 two posts just keep that in mind i point it out every time i do a retro three and retro four but that is going to be my review on these georgia peach retro threes if y'all got any questions got any comments hit the comments below let your boy know what you got going on what you're thinking how you like the shoes if you might buy them all the information for good kicks that are you will be in the description below again if you buy them or if you like them if you check out the site hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought but that is all i got for y'all today this is my diy card make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel peace